What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're going to be talking about if the gold pass is actually even worth buying. Welcome back to the channel for another episode. Today we're going to be talking gold pass. Every single month you guys hear us YouTubers buy the gold pass and use my code. Yeah, that's that's a great thought, but should you actually buy the gold pass? Like, is it actually worth buying the gold pass? So today we're going to evaluate and I'm going to tell you guys why the gold pass is the best $5 you'll ever be able to spend in Clash Clans and you'll never get more value for your $5. Even if this was the worst gold pass ever, it will still be the best best value you could ever get for five dollars now i will say right up front here that the gold pass is going to have different values to different people but i still think it is going to be worth the five dollars no matter where you are in the game for instance here on my town hall 11 we're going to need all those magic items that's going to help us out a lot not to mention all those perks they're going to be really really nice whereas here on my town hall 14 that's nearly maxed out just two more upgrades i'm more interested in the perks of the gold pass rather than the items but it is still worth it just for those perks but what makes the gold pass actually worth that much value and worth spending the five dollars on every single month we're gonna break that down here today but before we do guys go ahead and leave a like on the video let's see if we can get to 2500 likes before tomorrow and while you guys are at it subscribe and turn on those notifications it's also a great time to remind you since uh the gold pass just came out go to your settings more standing scroll to the bottom and enter code batch oh look i didn't have it in there because it, it, it expires every seven days guys so make sure you have that in there even if you don't use code bash i really appreciate the thought of you guys using code bash but if you don't use code bash just make sure you have someone's creator code in there it helps us out a ton but let's break it down why is the gold pass worth five dollars no matter what and the factors playing into this i'm not going to factor in the free pass into this but the first factor that's going to make the gold pass worth it no matter what is the skin we've seen skins in the past sell for ten dollars alone the skin alone is going to be worth the five dollars for the gold pass that's our number one reason get that exclusive skin every single month even if you don't have that hero you'll have it in your skin inventory so when you do unlock that hero you'll be able to use that skin that you unlocked previously and backing up the skin value even more if you miss a skin or you don't buy that month's gold pass it'll cost you 1500 gems to buy that skin if you want to get it at a later Later date which is way more than the five dollars for the gold pass if you would have just bought the gold pass that's like what 11 12 13 14 dollars worth of gems right there now i'm not even gonna get into the magic items yet because the magic items that's a whole another story but the second reason why the gold pass is always going to be worth it we're not even talking about all the items and resources and stuff you get is going to be the perks, the season bank, the builder boost, the research boost, the training boost. Let me show you guys how these work just in case you're unfamiliar with it. Let me go ahead, let me buy the gold pass on this account and let me show you guys how these perks work just in case you're unfamiliar with it. Maybe you've never bought a gold pass before or maybe this is the month you really like that queen skin. Maybe you're thinking about doing. Let me show you how these perks work just in case you're unaware. First of all, we have the season bank. If you do not buy the gold pass, your season bank is gonna be kept at 5 million gold, 5 million elixir and 50,000 dark elixir. When you buy the gold pass, you'll be able to upgrade the season bank, get a bigger season bank, which can actually go up to at the maximum level 25 million gold, 25 million elixir, and 250,000 dark elixir, which you'll get at the end of the gold pass. Uh, and that's just for farming. As you collect loot, you'll be able to collect that. And then another nice perk is going to be the boost. You see here the builder boost, the research boost, the training boost, and the one gem donations. The one gem donations are a whole nother thing we'll talk about that in a moment but let's go ahead let's take a look and break down what do these boosts do so starting with the builder boost and i only have one chance to get this right so hopefully we can get this right guys so let's go take a look at the expo will be e easiest because it's a nice even number here it's level four expo it is going to cost me 8 million gold to upgrade and it's going to take nine days to upgrade right so that's without any of the boost if we go in here and we get this builder boost we will actually be able to take off 10 percent, and this actually caps out at 20 percent later on in the gold pass and what's nice is this is the first day of the gold pass just completing three challenges i was able to unlock all of this stuff so you actually get a lot more value right away from this month's gold pass but if we take this builder boost and we go try to upgrade that same expo it's now 800,000 gold cheaper. So right away, you're going to be saving 800,000 gold on that upgrade, not to mention 
almost a full day off there. And that's the perks of doing this. This is why you want to get the gold pass because when you get up to that 20%, it's really nice. And this does apply to walls, guys. Look at this. Already 400,000 off of those level 12 wall upgrades. It's a really nice thing, especially if you have a lot of walls left to do. Those boosts are going to be really nice. And the same thing is going to apply to the research boost. If we take a look here, uh, for instance, our Barbarian and our Giant, 5 million, 6 million, respectively, 7 days and 9 days. And then let's go ahead and grab that 10% boost here for our research, which is going to knock 10% off of the time. They go down to 4.5 million and 5.4, and then 6 days, 7 hours, and almost a full day off there of the giants. So you can see with those boosts, it makes a huge difference. And then the final difference is gonna be the training boost, which is gonna be really nice. So let's take a look at our dragons, for example. I've been using dragons to farm. They're gonna cost 20,000 dark elixir and they're gonna take three minutes each to train up. Now with this boost, it'll allow us to take 10% less resources and 10% uh, heroes will take 10% less time. So it's gonna be uh, less resources, less time, and the heroes are gonna take 10% less time. So if we grab that, we'll notice that our dragons are now only 18,000 elixir to train up, and they only take 2 minutes and 42 seconds. So this is going to allow you to farm faster and more efficiently because your armies are going to be cheaper. So those three perks right there, reason number two, once you get those capped out to 20% 20, 20 it's really nice, but you, right here, like we get the 10% really quick, it is a huge difference maker. And my third reason why the gold pass is going to be worth it every single month, and honestly this is probably my number one reason, I didn't do these in any particular order, but this is going to be my number one reason, and the reason I buy this on numerous accounts every single month, the one gem donations. If you don't know here, if you try to donate and you don't use the one gem donation, it's pretty expensive. Full spells are 20 gems to donate. Uh, regular spells are 10 gems. Uh, dragons are 13. Balloons are 3. Now, I'm sure some of you guys are like, Bash, you could just train up those troops. Yeah, but then that kind of like interferes with like your own farming. I love one gem donations. I wish one gem donations were a permanent thing, but that's the, one of the biggest reasons of why I buy the gold pass every single month is for those one gem donations. So you can see on this donation alone, uh, let's see, it's going to be 30... 43 plus what three balloons so 52 gems that would have cost me if i would to donate it with gems but if i go in here and grab my one gem donations i'm now going to be able to donate all of that stuff for six gems and again i i get it that's not for everyone not everyone wants to donate using gems but it's a huge factor that plays into it especially for those town hall 14 accounts in our clan i think everyone uses one gem donation and the fourth reason why the gold pass is worth it every single month and this we're not even to the items yet guys we're not even to the items is because of the challenges now this one's going to seem a little bit awkward and weird but sometimes it's nice just to have like an objective to do it to have these challenges yeah they're not very difficult I agree. They're they're pretty easy challenges, but it's fun to have something to do while you're farming. Give yourself those little challenges, and it's going to help you kind of entertain yourself while you're playing the game and keep you a little bit more active so you'll be able to farm, you'll be able to get that season bank up a little bit more while you're completing those challenges. So that one's a little minor one, but I like it a lot. It helps me stay interested throughout the season on all my accounts. And then finally, the fifth reason, five reasons for $5, why the gold pass is worth five dollars every single month and you should consider buying it if you don't buy anything else in clash of clans consider buy the gold pass every single month because it will always be worth it guys for those previous four reasons alone but add in the magic items look at this these three books alone right here not to mention everything else these three books alone right here have previously been sold in the shop for $9.99 10 dollars for those three books with a builder potion guess what guys you're gonna get a builder potion i, I feel like a like a, a tv advertisement right now guess what you're also gonna get a builder potion in there as well but those three items with the Builder Potion for $10, you're going to get all that for your $5. Not to mention, you're going to get, uh, we have runes in here, right? You're going to get three runes. Those runes are valued anywhere from like 
what I can estimate 20 to $25 to up to $50 for the Rune of Dark Elixir, uh, if you do the math out. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to value each magic item uh, at, at US dollars. I'm working on that video. That's a video to come. But those runes right there, like, that's a crazy value. Not to mention, like, we get wall rings. Uh, we get another, there's another rune in this one. And there's always two to three runes at minimum on every single gold pass, guys. And that's why I believe that the gold pass will be worth it to buy every single month no matter what and now that we bought it let's go ahead and start using some of the stuff you get those research potions also guys you come out here yeah go to your magic items and you can pop off those oops that's a clock tower potion you can if you know what you're using you can pop off those research uh, resource potions and boost up your resources not to mention like we we get all this stuff We'll be getting more magic items this season. Now, I understand, guys, that some of you guys are younger. I, I understand that we have a younger demographic in the audience as well. Maybe your parents won't allow you to buy it, or maybe you're just not financially able to buy the gold pass, and that's fine. You don't have to buy the gold pass, but if you're ever considering buying one thing within Clash of Clans, you should consider the gold pass because it's going to be the best $5 you could ever spend. There's never going to be a pack worth all of this for $5 in the shop. There's been some pretty good offers in the shop, don't get me wrong. But they're never worth all of this because you got to factor in the perks, the season bank, or the one gem. Do There's so much that goes into it. And again, like don't like go broke like you know because you see your favorite YouTuber going on a crazy spending spree. Like if you can afford to spend five dollars and it's going to be okay with you, it's going to be okay with your family type of deal. Buy it the gold pass. That, that's going to be your best bang for your buck, in my opinion. And honestly, it's, I think it's a little bit past my opinion. The facts kind of back me up here, guys. The value is really amazing for $5. It's really good. And it's also a great way to kind of support the community. You can support your favorite creator, creator by using code BASH. Uh, hopefully, I'm your favorite. If not, I, I understand, guys. There are some great creators out there. Uh, but hopefully, this one will help you guys out making that decision and break it down in a way that makes a lot of sense for you guys. I am working on that video where I'm trying to put a value on each and every magic item in dollars. But there's like some variants in here. It's really weird. I've been finding like different numbers for the magic item. So I'm working on that video. It's taking a little bit longer than I planned on. Uh, but look forward to that one. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video talking about if you should buy the gold pass. Is it worth it? The answer every single month. When I review the gold pass every single month, no matter whether it's a good gold pass or a bad gold pass, so to speak. It's always going to be worth it just because of the perks alone. All of the magic items, all the skin, that's just added bonus on top of there, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing. Wow, you watched that whole video? Here's another video that YouTube thinks you'll like, and here's a playlist of similar videos.